Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, I haven't done any update or review video on the PicoPix Max for a long time, simply because there hasn't anything worth for a video until more recently, uh, which is the uh, firmware version 1.1 update. Now, in this update, uh, Philips has uh, significantly decreased the fan noise level uh, and as well as uh, increasing a little bit on the temperature as a result. So I am going to test those and verify those data that they release uh, in this video. Now, another thing that reminded me with all these latest email from the Indiegogo system is where is my second PicoPix Max? Hmm. Right, remember back in the February, there is a campaign for review video uh, who's make the best or some of the better one on YouTube can win a additional PicoPix Max. So I was one of the lucky winner thanks to all of you feeding me uh, video ideas. Uh, but then where is my next one? So uh, I'm going to uh, go to the website and see if I can find any information uh, on that. Now without further talking, uh, let's go to uh, look at the uh, details of this review. So along with the latest update Philips released on May 7th, Thursday, uh, Philips also sent out a email telling people how to go to a website and track for their uh, unshipped unit. Now that reminded me, uh, Philips do owe me one unit. Now back in February, the Philips have a campaign where uh, people can make a review video put on YouTube and win a prize. So I was fortunate enough to uh, want the second prize which is an additional PicoPix Max. So I look into the website as you, as you see here that I paid it for one unit and I got two units. So the, uh, at some point in time, uh, Philips staff contacted me and uh, added another unit to my backer account. Now this showing two and I still have one unit uh, that is showing current estimated shipping day is May. So it is 10 days, almost 10 days into, the, into May now uh, let's see when I will get the free unit and I'll definitely keep you guys posted uh, when I ever receive this free unit all right all right so here I'm showing you at the version 1.0.27 now I basically didn't update to the 1.0.29 uh, firmware because there weren't any major changes I feel like and I didn't want to mess up with uh, messing with updating uh, if I don't have to. So it's showing you currently at a normal mode uh, in terms of brightness and let's take a look at the noise level. Now let's change to the energy saver mode and look at the noise level with the meter. Now finally, we are going to switch to the presentation mode. Presentation mode, you can see uh, already here, the noise level is very, very loud in comparison in this 1.0.27 version. So here, let's begin to look at the temperature of the PicoPix Max. Now showing here, I have run a uh, watching video on Amazon Prime for an hour, uh, 15 minutes or so, and now I'm using my thermal gun or temperature gun, <laughs> laser gun, to try to see where the warmest spot is located on the PicoPix Max. Looks like it's somewhere on top uh, near the uh, one of the angle there. I'm trying to uh, use my hand and along with my um, thermal gun to uh, see where the hot spot is. Now I find my hot spot and looks like the warmest spot after an hour use in presentation mode is at about 35 degrees celsius feeling from the outside well now let's do an update to the version 1.1 firmware i always update takes a long time i'm just showing you a very short cutscene of what it was happening uh, during the update now notice in this video i didn't film it in a pitch black you know totally dark room i have a little table lamp uh, turned on uh, a 
along with my、uh, bed headboard there. So,、uh, which what was what you see、uh, during the cutscene where I do those、uh, temperature measurement and noise level measurement. Now, so the update is I hope almost done. And let's see what happened.、Uh, I've Immediately noticed、um, the fan level,、uh, you know, the noise level has drastically decreased. And let's try to use some of the same measurement method and see the value of it. Okay. Now, along with the noise level being decreased, there is also this new pop-up menu、uh, that was being added, as well as the battery charge level. Now, I've been plugging in for the entire time. I don't know why it's showing me 99% instead of 100%,、uh, which I am not entirely sure. Now, this new menu somehow it just popped up by itself. It's a little bit annoying in some way, but.、Uh, Definitely, it is a quick access to some of the key function. Now, the, this is the new、uh, auto and menu corrections they have added. Now you can、uh, choose to manually change the keystone or the vert vertical corrections as shown in here. If you,、uh, you know, basically you have to turn on or turn off the automatic、uh, one. Now the horizontal corrections. A lot of the people ask,、uh, leave comment there. There's no automated horizontal corrections. The only way you can correct horizontal、uh, alignment is use this four corner corrections, where you、uh, manually adjust the four angle uh, along. Uh, you know, see where it fits if your、uh, Pixel X Max is、uh, tilted in one way or the other. Okay, now I prefer just use auto one. I was lucky this room setup、uh, just fit perfectly for my、uh, Pixel X Max projection at the maximum screen size, which is 120、uh, inches. But let's look at the noise level now. We should be currently in the presentation mode. Let's double check. Presentation mode. Well, let's take a look at the measurement. While at presentation mode, it's only at around thirty-eight. Hmm, very quiet. And. Normal mode. And energy saver mode. It is whisper quiet. Now let's watch a video on Amazon and come back and see how is the temperature get changed. So I've watched about forty minutes of video on Amazon Prime, okay, utilizing the Wi-Fi functions as well as the lamp in the presentation mode. Okay, the warmest、uh, level. Okay, showing hundred percent charged already. Finally. Like so, I use my fingertip and the thermal gun trying to look for the、uh, warmest spot on the Pixel Pix Max. I'm、uh, moving around a little bit with my laser tip. So the hottest temperature I recorded is thirty-eight degrees Celsius. All right, so let's do a little summary of what we've done today in terms of looking at different、uh, number changes in the new update. Now here we have a chart showing you the differences in terms of temperature on the casing, okay, casing temperature, 
and also the noise level at different、um, mode. Okay, I separate it in terms of energy saver, normal, and presentation mode. Now I use my newest iPhone. Okay, iPhone SE 2020, and an app called Niosh、uh, Sound Level Meter, and put it right on top of the Pixel Pix Max and measure the volume or the noise volume of it. Now here are the numerical、uh, values. So overall, the new update have about a average of 20% decrease in the fan noise. That's pretty significant,、uh, I, I think. And in terms of the casing temperature at the presentation mode, there is a slight increase in temperature, just as they advertise, as they market it. It's about 8.6% increase in the temperature. All right, so I have those value in degrees Celsius as well as it's in Fahrenheit for you to reference. That is not bad. That is a pretty good result as far as I am concerned. So they really did a good job in terms of slightly increase the temperature. At least on the outside, how I feel now. I don't know how much of an increase inside. It is hard to tell. I'm not going to open up my Pixel Pix Max for sure.、Um, but in terms of the、um, noise level, that is a really good decrease. All right. So I we've looked at the summary table of all of the noise level changes. Now I'm trying to just re read my、uh, cheat sheet email here、uh, from one of their update number twenty six email,、uh, which was sent、uh, about a week ago, I think.、Uh, you know, saying that now the.、Um, Normal mode is more quiet or quieter than the echo mode it used to be. Now, based on my finding, it was indeed true, and there is an average about a、uh, seven dB decrease、uh, in various mode. Now, look at my comparison in terms of the、uh, you know percentage decrease. That's indeed true. So the increase in temperature that is a little bit、uh, on the casing. How much is increased inside? That is hard to tell.、Uh, I don't. Think that would be、uh, a significant problem, but really the decrease in the noise level enhances a lot on the uh, experience. Uh, I'm quite happy with all these new updated changes, and the new、uh, pop-up menu it seems to be quite handy, especially when you need to do、uh, some quick adjustment on your、uh, various of the settings. So,、uh, in summary, I really like this update,、uh, and so far this. This is the one of the more major one that I feel that it is definitely worth talking about、uh, in this video. Now, if you like my video,、uh, my channel do a lot of、uh, review product of some of the new gadget that I own, as well as some of the older one that、uh, it seems to be popular. Some of the cookingware as well.、Uh, if you like my channel, want to watch more review、uh, of these type of a product,、uh, please give me、uh, give me a like of this video and as well. As subscribing to my channel. Now that is all for today, and I'll see you next time. Bye.